everyone and welcome back to another installment of the viral podcast i'm your host chelsea lynn and i'm your host Paige jen and today we have a special guest my brother hello everybody thanks for supporting my loved ones oh, my loved ones that was great jerry thank you yes. i appreciate that jerry um, jen is joining jerry jen is joining on the podcast today and uh, how do you feel Felt super heck of honored to be here. Yeah. A little nervous. You said you're a little nervous, but it honestly wasn't even planned. He just is here visiting and we're like, hey, jump in. Yeah. Like so, five minutes ago. So what a trooper for sticking it out. Um, yeah, you said you were nervous. You know, there's only a few people listening. So don't yeah. worry about that. And I gave him a couple there. mushrooms. Yeah. I'm yeah. mushroomed up. You're mushroomed up and good to go. Super heck. Hell heck yeah. Look at Gary right beside you. Gary. That mama baby boy. Gets to stay with me tonight. Oh, he is staying the night with you. We do that with our dogs. Um, they will go stay with their Aunt Tooth. Like their, I mean, he's my nephew. Oh, yeah, 100%. Gotta have visits. We that, have sleepovers. Yes, you do. Gary. Yes, you do. Gary. You gotta bring, I, I gotta meet your dog. I know. Kevin. Kevin yes. is out of control. Oh, my God. Noodle. He's a little noodle. Uh-huh. Kevin's floppy. wild and floppy. I had a question. Yeah, How, go ahead and ask it. How are you supposed to write in a journal? Or, like, who do you write to in a journal? Are you supposed to write third person to yourself, like, as if you would read it back a per- if a person found it, they're reading it? You know, I don't you think know? there's a rule. Because I noticed when I was writing in my journal, I just write. I notice I switch back and forth. And I think that's okay. Um, Isn't that a weird one to think about? I think when I do it, I don't journal as much as I want to, but when I do, I feel like I'm almost talking to my future self for when I, you know, in years down the road, go back and read it. It's more like, oh, today I did this and I felt this and I did, you know, that type of stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. Same. You write like that. What about you, Jerry? I you, do not journal. You don't journal you've at told all. Me I need to get on that recently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you ever look back at your journal and you're just like, Oh my, I am a freaking idiot. No, no, I can go back in it and honestly put myself mm-hmm. in the feelings where I was feeling then and then think of like how I handled it. Yeah, for me, I read back. And I go, oh, I forgot about that. I forgot I did that. That's cool. That's a nice little memory that popped back up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good or bad. I think it's just good to yeah. let it all out Agreed. in a book. Agreed. And it really diagnoses what you just think about and shit. Yeah. It's a trip. And what makes you happy and excited that day? The littlest things make me happy, like gel pens. You love gel pens. Or seeing a butter, like the smallest things Mm -hmm. are the biggest to me. Yeah. Not a penis or nothing, but. No, you you don't get excited over, over, over penises? Actually, the smallest penis I did see, I was the most excited I've ever been. Why? Just never saw a micro penis before. And then when he whipped it out, I was like, oh my (laughs) That's like a, cute. Like Everyone. Like that you were about to do? or No. Oh, okay. Just looked at it. Because my ex-boyfriend, Zach, yeah. he's his friend had a micro penis, and, and he made us all, <laughs> all look at it. That, that'd that be me if I had a micro penis. Did I ever tell you about that time I saw that this guy had a huge ball sack? Yeah. <laughs> no, like, I'm talking. huge. I'm talking bigger than softballs oh, on, on each ball. Like I and and you know how big a softball is. I'm talking mm-hmm. each nut was at least, I mean like elephantitis balls. Like Ooh. not. I hard. wonder if something was wrong with him. It, there was. He oh. it was called something, and I mean you could see it through his jeans. Like it looked like he was faking, like putting some, you know. It looked like he just got rammed up the ass or what? I don't know what that means. Just walking funny. Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but. It was uh, Becky's brother's friend, and I remember you saying this. We were talking about it, and he was like, "He was like, you guys want to see him?" And I'm like, "Absolutely!" Pulled him out, and I was just like, "I mean, felt sorry for the dude." Did they look tender, like they're about to pop, or did they look comfortable? They looked comfortable in a weird way. They didn't look. No, I see what you mean, but no, they looked comfortable in a weird way. Mm-hmm. How that, big was his wiener? Normal, average size. He didn't show us a wiener, but I asked that naturally. Have to. You know, I was like, what are we talking about? The winner? He's like, normal. 
Huh. Yeah, you'd want to see that ball to dick ratio. Imagine trying to fuck. I know, when and they're hanging there. And you can't because your balls are in the way. Tape them back. <laughs> you know, that would be hard. So, Jerry, how are your balls? Normal size? Yeah, they're normal size. Depends on the day. Yeah. Um, Do you shave your sack? I haven't shaved in okay. years. Oh, okay, you just, just let that shit. Yeah. Let it roll. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Stragglers on the ball sack. You got some stragglers on the ball sack. Well, certainly. I'll show you later. Okay. I will lo- I'll literally look at them. Yeah. I just mm-hmm. did a little video doing backflips in the rainstorm the other night. Okay. Wiener out and all. Cool. Oh, wow. I'll look I got at you. It. Okay. All right. Well, Thank you. what a nice little way to start the pod. All right. Should we lean into Ooh. To letters? Ooh. Maggie, you going to play the letters clip? <laughs> Since we're talking about oh, balls. I don't have it. You don't have the letters to penthouse clip? Mm-mm. It's on. I'll just oh. do it. Okay, go ahead and do it. Letters to Penthouse by Chelsea. That was literally the sound clip. Yeah. Can you do it again? Letters to Penthouse by Chelsea. I could listen to that on repeat. Mm-hmm. Can we have it one more time? Letters to Penthouse by Chelsea. Why is that so funny to me, dude? Chelsea. 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 We haven't read Letters to Penthouse in a while, and here's why. A lot of these stories in here are like 12 pages long. And I can't sit here for 30 minutes, however long (laughs) it's going to take. And, you know, that's a lot. A lot of reading. So I try to find the shorter ones. um, And I think I found a good one. And we have not done letters in months. And people are asking. P- the di- Letters to Penthouse has a diehard following, and so you guys are getting it today. And it's a good one, and it's a short one, and I really hope you stick around for it. Please do not skip this letters. It's going to be a good one. You guys ready? Mm-hmm. Let me clear my throat. <coughs> oh, shit. All right, here we go. <coughs> mm-hmm. It is called, In the Warmth of a Summer Eve, Fantasy Turns Easily. Into reality. One warm evening last summer, while I was sleeping nude with the window cracked so I could feel the warmth breeze across my body, I woke up and felt my sweet baby lying over me with his hand cupped over my mouth. Naturally, I was startled when I saw Craig's eyes and his raised eyebrows I knew I was in for some fun. Suddenly, I felt other hands all over me. I looked at Craig and asked, What's going on? He whispered, I brought entertainment. I smiled with my eyes. My ankles were being pulled apart and my wrist drawn to the upper corners of the bed. So I was spread eagled. Aren't you going to tie them? I said. Sure enough, they did. (sighs) Not so tight, I said. And they loosened the ties. With Craig still lying over me, I had to guess that he'd brought two people with him. He removed his hand from my mouth and began kissing me Gently, I felt hands all over me. Fingers were sliding into my pussy. (laughs) And somebody was rubbing my nipples. Craig shoved his tongue further down my throat. Then he stood up beside the bed. Kiss her, he said. A beautiful woman was climbing over me. Her lips were soft and moist, and we began gliding our tongues in and out of each other's mouths. Her fingers slid in my pussy, and my legs quivered. She slid her tongue down to my nipples, then my stomach, and then my clit. Craig watched. Come here, I said. I want to eat your cock. (laughs) (laughs) That's fucking funny, dude. (laughs) 
eat it? <laughs> he slid the tip gently over my lips and eased the head in. I moaned, enjoying having my pussy eaten while also satisfying my man. I looked past the woman and saw that Craig had brought one of his golf buddies. (laughs) Tom winked at me. (laughs) Tom winked at me and then buried his face in the beautiful woman's cunt. <clears throat> Holy shit. Her tongue thrust harder in me as a result of her excitement. She slid her finger deep into my pussy, then slid it in Craig's mouth. Damn. As always, you taste wonderful, baby, Craig said. The room smelled of sex. It was a dream come true. <laughs> the woman rolled on her back and played with herself. Fuck her, she said to Craig. Tom changed positions, and Craig slid his heart on in me. Oh, baby, I gurgled as it slid down my throat. Craig kissed the woman harder and harder. He grabbed a dildo and inserted it into her pussy. Tom sprayed, come on me. (laughs) Sprayed. 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 And Craig came inside me. Both the women and I came. Both the woman and I came. Leaving deposits of cum (laughs) on the bed. Cum deposits. The woman grabbed Craig's cock and said, Let me clean it for you. Then began sucking. Wouldn't you like to eat my cum out of Georgia, he said. I love eating cum, (laughs) she said, and went to work on my cunt. (laughs) Dude, what the f- So eagerly that I felt myself advancing toward orgasm. Craig began to untie me. You've been a great sport, baby, he said. We kissed. Thanks, baby, I whispered. I love surprises, he smiled. Now I want to suck you, I said. And did I? The woman kept eating me until I screamed. No more! Tom took a hold of her, bent her over doggy style, and fucked her. (laughs) Giving her ass a good working over as he did. Craig, he said, do it to Georgia. She's been a bad girl. Bend her over and fuck her ass. Craig flipped me around and pushed my ass onto his cock and then fucked me. The woman and I started kissing. I'm coming, Tom, she moaned, all over your cock. Craig began massaging my clit. As I came, my juices dripped out. His his cock throbbing in my ass. Tom and Craig moaned as they fucked our asses good and hard. (laughs) Until we all collapsed. (laughs) Dude. (laughs) When we recovered, the woman said, Hi, Georgia. I'm Lynn, Tom's girlfriend. No. (laughs) Nice to meet you, I said. (laughs) The others laughed. Well, baby, I said, there's another fantasy realized. Tom and Lynn got dressed, thanking us as they left. We were alone. I love you, Craig whispered. What an evening. Oh, my. 
throbbing in the ass. Their cocks were throbbing. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Can you yes. imagine playing golf and being like, hey, so uh, my wife's taking a nap. And she loves surprises. <laughs> she loves surprises. Like, what the fuck? And you've never met her before. Can you imagine just a chick eating your pussy, going to town on it, and then and then afterwards being like, hi, my hi. name. You know, I'm like. Lorena. Dude, that was a guy miss letters. I hope you guys enjoyed that letters to penthouse. Started out with a lot of warmth. Start it. Warmth. Start it. Start it. Started. Started with warmth. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. Did I tell you guys I met Drake and he was rude? Yeah. We yeah. Have I told the that. podcast? Yeah, like mm-hmm. just a few episodes ago. My bad. Okay. You guys ready for a We've little. We've told him like three times. <laughs> Every time I see him, I go, hmm. I remember being on an escalator with you and you being rude to me. But I've moved past it. But if you ever meet him, you gotta say that. Start it. To start it on the escalator now we're here. I'll be like, you remember me from the escalators in North Park Mall in Dallas? Started when you were rude to me. <laughs> now we're here. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. I'm ready for a little uh twinkle twinkle, Maggie. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Trivy. Get trivia, uh-huh. get trivy, get trivia, ha, uh-huh. fuck me, get uh-huh. trivy, get trivia, oh, fuck, uh-huh. dude, that's the best song on the, dude, I could pop to that song for an hour, all night, before we get started, Jerry, be honest, yep, me reading trivia, did that turn you on? I, I could close my eyes and probably jack off to that a little bit. That's awesome. If I jacked off. Yeah, you don't jack off anymore. Well, two weeks. Well, yeah, yeah, it's been two weeks. It's probably easier for him. And we actually, you were a guest on our Slits Only, and we go into this on our Slits Only. So if you follow Paige on OF and follow me on Patreon, uh, Jerry really goes into why he's staying uh, no porn, no jacking off, all that. So go to that and watch that. I don't know when it'll be posted. Maybe when this comes out, it'll be posted. I don't know. Something. Yeah, we'll we'll post it whenever. So anyway, are you ready for trivia? Here we go. Jerry, you, you can uh, chime in too and huh. help us if you know the answer. Yeah. If, if you know sure. the answer, most definitely chime in. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Beth, are you ready? Ready. We're getting the microphones ready. All right, spinach. Here we go. Spinach and artichoke dip. Mm, that sounds good. Animals yellow, animals yellow. Question number one of trivial. How many legs do cockroaches have? Twelve. Fucking no. Uh, ten. Eight. Six. Damn. Sometimes I think their antennas are yeah, feet too. Yeah, a leg. Yeah. All right, your turn. Oh, I'll take literature for 1,000, please. Literature. Here we are. Red. What is the name of Stephen King's first novel? Come on now. This is a, it's a famous one. Turned into a movie. Can you play... I know what it is. I can't think of it. Came out in 1974. Oh, fuck Um, me. It's the Hello Clarice. What is it? Jerry, do you know? Can you give us a... um, It is a lady's name. A lady? Carrie. Yes, Carrie. No, he wrote Carrie? It It was his first novel he ever published. I did not know Stephen King wrote Carrie. That was just a guess. Stephen Hawking... Different guy. Oh. Different guy. All right, ready? Here we go. I don't know no Stephen King. Movie quotes green. Movie quotes green. Green. I'm itchy. Question number three of trivial. You're a little scary sometimes. You know that, right? Brilliant, but scary. Is that that on Harry Potter? Yes, ma'am, it is. Bonus. Who said it? Harry. I don't know. Fucking the, the bearded uh, guy, the guy Hogwarts, the girl, oh. the Maggie? Ronnie. Any guesses? R- Ronnie. Ronald Weasley. That's correct. I literally oh. named every. So si- I got it right. Woman. I named every single person but Ronald Weasley. All right, so I guess Beth is still continuing from last week, uh, giving out 
uh, ramen noodle soup packages as a bonus, and I have yet to receive mine. Hmm. Okay. Well, All is right. it my spin or yours? It's yours, shawty. Shawty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Beth Franks. <laughs> the Beth Franks. Here we go. All right, question number four of Trivial. True or false? I was once fired after three days for making a pitcher of sweet tea at a diner. False. You got wrote up. I'll say true. Correct. I did get fired. Mm-hmm. Wow. I got thought, Maggie fired? remembers. Yep. I thought you just got wrote up or something. You got fired. Fired me. Wow. Got fired for making a what? Tell, tell that story, Beth. Um, and you had to pay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I used, I, when I lived in Lone Pond, California, I worked at this very small diner and um, thought nothing of it. Start. I opened the, you know, I opened that morning, so I made sweet tea like any normal person would and uh not only did i have to pay for the sugar and the tea that i wasted but they fired me damn you have to pay for the Mm -hmm. ingredients what was that place called i cannot remember well if you lone pine has like three places to eat so if Mm -hmm. you go to a a little cafe ask for sweet tea and when they say we don't have any say hmm then i'm taking my business elsewhere yeah i'm going to McDonald's. Right. I'm sorry, Biffy. Oh, it, it makes for a great story. Fuck them. You can it get does. fired over the dumbest shit. I don't know how I've never been fired. Right. Damn. I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever been fired. And well, I should have been. That incident was the first and only time I had actually ever been fired from a job. So how'd they tell you they were firing you? They literally waited till the end of my shift was over, and they said, we're letting you go. And I was like, what <laughs> for? And they were like... Well, the main the main reason is because you wasted so much sugar today making that batch of tea, and we don't make sweet tea here. I'm like, what the fuck? This is a diner. You wouldn't have sweet tea. Did the owners was y- it? yes, it was the owners. They're they're uh, how, really stiff. How do they know you made sweet tea? The sugar. Did they just go over there and? Uh, yeah, yeah, because I was selling sweet tea. So they came over and said, "You did you make sweet tea?" Yeah. And you said, and "Yeah, I said, yeah, I did." And what'd they say then? They were like, okay, well, um, we're going to have to let you go. Cause you don't <laughs> Literally, it was so ridiculous. It also happened in 2014. Now that's some tea. Lived, yeah. That that's is some the tea. tea. That's the tea. Can you imagine me like, I'm going to have to let you go. Yeah. You made sweet tea? You're done. My friend started <laughs> dropping so many fucking plates. She, they almost had her start paying for them. Damn. They're like, you're, you're dropping a lot of money. Damn. Yeah. So. How much did they make oh, you pay for I just for looked th- it up. It was called The Grill in the Lone Pond, California. You guys go easy on them on the Yelp reviews, please. Did, um, how much did they make you pay? Uh, it was less than $5. <laughs> oh my God. And I'm not fired? Even I would, mm-hmm. I would not have paid. Huh? All and right. He let- remembers me. Yeah. Oh, I remember you telling me, but I thought you got written up. I, I forgot that you got fired. <sighs> so silly. All right, here we go. Spinach and cheese are artichoke dip. History. Light purple history. Question number five of Trivial. How many times did Forrest Gump run across the country? Now, that is an actual, you know, history, but it's just, I thought I would throw that in for fun. Once? Once? No, the total trips across... How many times? I thought he was just sitting there. Twice? I thought he just ran. I thought he just ran across the country once. Mm-mm. In the movie, he ran across five times. I didn't know. I didn't realize that. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just. I don't know. I thought that would be a fun. Okay. Little yeah, question I missed that part. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna spin once more right. at least. One, let's do one. Yeah, you're good. History again. His I love history. spinning on history. Purple. Yeah, we are. What building is on the back of the twenty dollar bill? Oh, come on. Is it the is it the fucking capital? The White House? The White House is correct. Oh. You tried to trick us. You tried to trick us. Yeah. But you got it, though. Man, it's, so, it's so hot in here, even Gary's uh, panting. Oh, Lord. All right. And I, it is time to announce Rock Fucker of the Week. He's Hayden Pantatier. Stop. You guys, uh, we pick one person randomly each week to be Rock Fucker of the Week. If you interact with us on social media, we'll pick you at random. This week, it is Jessica Perkins. Jessica. Bum, 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 bum. 
Yeah. Maggie thank you. will be reaching out and getting your t-shirt size and uh, that exclusive shirt will be on its way. Yep, to your home address. So thank you so much for interacting with us on social media, honey. Love you. Yeah, thank you all so much. Seriously. If you're listening right now, for wow. Everything. For everything. For fucking everything. Yeah. You guys rock. We have a podcast. We, this is what, episode 81? 81. Epi- we have podcast 81 times, and we keep going because you guys keep listening. I just seriously, I think about it every week, how, like, what would I do without a podcast? Mm-hmm. I know. It's so taking we, over. We appreciate you guys, and we love you. Love All you. right. Roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Who wants better sex? Hmm? And who wants to have better sex immediately? All right. Well, you better head on over to adamandeve.com. AdamandEve.com is offering 50% off almost any one item plus free shipping. And that includes rush processing. Don't wait. Better sex is just a click away. And Adam and Eve is private and discreet, okay? It doesn't matter how much you buy or what you buy. That's 50% off any one item plus free shipping. Bring more pleasure and satisfaction to your bedroom. Listen, everybody loves to nut. Paige, do you love nutting? Of course I do, Chelsea. Just go to adamandeve.com, select any one item, okay? It could be an adventurous new toy or anything you desire or your private's desire. Just enter offer code VIRAL at checkout. That's viral, V-I-R-A-L, at adamandeve.com. This is an exclusive offer specific to this podcast, so be sure to use this code viral to get your discount. 100% free shipping and get it fast with rush processing, code viral. Oh, yeah. Have y'all ever been to Branson, Missouri? Have y'all ever been to France and Missouri? I hey, haven't. Have what, I? what a great way to start off the pod. Quick and with it. To the point. I don't, I've been to Missouri, but I don't know where's Branson. We've been to, I've been to Branson once. Our aunt and grandma took us. Gosh, I was in like junior high. Just a random trip to Missouri? Yeah, my grandma's from the area. She was born around there. And we just went. It's kind of like a little mini Vegas. Mm. They have like shows and casinos and. I never knew it but, was popping. But it's almost like a country version of Vegas. Vegas. But I had fun. I can't even remember what we did. I had fun, but yeah, I need to go back. We went to a haunted motel. But that was in Arkansas on our way. <laughs> I just went to Missouri for a Cardinals game. Oh, St. Louis. That's did you have fun? Like uh yeah a yeah. lot of fun baseball games are the best i will say this each every time i announce a tour 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 leg if there is a missouri date that show sells out fastest missouri anywhere in missouri will sell out in a minute i wonder why i don't know they like they to go love, to shows yeah they, love, they have nothing else to do they love going to shows so love you guys in Missouri. So yeah, thank you for existing. Yeah, love you, Jerry. You have calling. you been? Never been. Hmm. Any interest? Not entirely, okay. dude. You don't sit there and think I want to go to Missouri, do you? Well, yeah. Saint, I love St. Louis. I love um, what's the pizza place called in St. Louis? Mm, oh, we went there. What's it fucking called? Emos. I think about Emos all the time. And they have that David Archuleta. They have that David Archuleta, and they have Branson. I love Missouri. Missouri's beautiful. I, Missouri's a place. Yeah, I would want to go. I want to go back to Branson for sure. So, thank you for calling in, honeys. Love ya. Love you. Hey, honeys. Swimmer here. Um, I was just wondering, are you guys big like swimming guys? Uh, 
I love to swim, like, maybe because I'm, like, a summer baby, but, you know, do you have a preference, like, a pool, a river, maybe a creek, a lake? Uh, I'm from Oklahoma, and I don't know if Chelsea, if you've ever been to Blue Hole, it's this creek in Salina, it's fucking cool. Uh, been going there since I was little, but anyways, uh, just wanted to know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love swimming. I think we're big swim guys. My preference on swimming is to be in either a hot spring, something that's more warm, because if I'm in a swimming pool that's cold, I can't do it. I either need a hot tub real close by or the water to be. I shiver. Yeah. I love swimming. Um, Oh, my God. I was trying to, I just had a thought and and then it went away about swimming. Um, can't remember. Was it us sitting in the ocean for hours? Oh, it was. Paige and I, when we first became friends, we went down to Ocean Beach in San Diego. Yeah, Pacific Beach. Pacific Beach. And we were we were in the water, and we thought we were just floating. And we sat there for a solid at least an hour, right, talking. We were floating, but we were floating off. And we didn't realize that we were floating down. And we got out of the water, we were lost. We had floated down. Like five, ten miles, dude. <laughs> like we, like we, and we didn't realize we were floating down. We thought we were staying in one spot for an hour. We thought we were, <laughs> we thought we were in that one spot for an hour, but we were not. We were so far down oh, the coast. Shit. Remember that? How, why do we think we were in one spot for an hour? We got out and we were by just some random pier, and we're we like, were like, what? "Where are we what at? Way do we even go?" It took us forever to find everybody we were with. Who was with us? Like, Greg, everybody was with us, you know, like the crew laying out. I don't know. They didn't realize we were gone. Where were y'all? Oh, uh, we were floating down the coast. Brett actually did come looking for us. D- did he? But we walked past him. I guess. Oh my gosh. I, oh my god i love i love yeah big swim guy here and i know y'all are too maggie is maggie is beth is the remember ocean, when you were yeah. on the tube at lake pal oh gosh you peed all over it yeah <laughs> i do lake pal did you ever I, see the footage of that i don't guess so i i have a video i, I need to send that to you what were you doing just pissing all over a tube I, I maybe i was scared and just peed yeah you were scared to death you you said stop this thing now. oh yeah <laughs> i don't like the tube she doesn't like to tube i'm i love tubing no. my face got broken and my whole back when i fell off oh my god i always get hurt tubing it's you did get hurt i would say i like swimming more in lakes the ocean is fun, yeah. but I'm thinking about yeah. eels and sharks, even though the lake's kind of scary, too. The lakes where we grew up, they were so clean and nice. Oh. Cliff diving, et cetera. Amazing. You know where I miss, Maggie where? and Beth? Sulfur. Sulfur? The sulfur, sulfur springs and sulfur. Do they yeah. smell like it? Yes, but the water is so cold, you wouldn't like it. Beautiful. We need to go back. I know. Big time. You guys have to go to Starvation State Park. Ooh. Just to the lake in, okay. in Utah. Okay. Done. Boating. That, that said she's coming out. We need to do lots of swimming this summer. Yeah. We're, we're gonna, I'm going to get an above ground Walmart pool. We have to. Yes. Have to. We will. I would love to take swimming lessons and actually get really good. Because we have a friend, Tori, uh-huh. who swims like a damn fish. Yeah. She's I think I'll skip quick. on that. I think it'd be cool to swim super quick and awesome. Because when I'm swimming, I don't want to be, you know, backhanded. I just want to be chilling, floating, and yeah. going, you know. Going. No Michael Phelps. No. I don't want to be, you know, trying to be like Michael Phelps Make at a all. a little dam back here behind the house. I know. We and have a little creek back there. Build that up and just chill in that. That is true. <laughs> I could see us all doing that, actually. That'd be great. Great, que- great fun, interesting question, honey. Thank you for calling in. Love you. Hey, honeys. Don't know what to do here. Um, I guess I'm looking for advice or some sort of reassurance. So I'm 23. And I'm in a newly found relationship with my partner, Um, we have been together about six months now and I'm still currently married, but me and my husband, we have been separated 
for about seven months. And I was not looking to get into a relationship. I was not looking for anything but, like, maybe a sex partner. But things got serious pretty quickly. And one thing led to another. And now I'm knocked up. This is my fourth child. And this will be his fifth child. And honestly, I care way too much about what people think. So automatically off the bat, I feel like people are judging me because, you know, we don't really know each other that well still. I mean, we're still dating and, you know, serious about each other. But, you know, it's not like we've been in a relationship for years and years and know each other like the back of our hands. And... I guess I'm just wanting advice on, like, how to not give a fuck about what people think about your situation or about what you're doing and who you are. Um, but, yeah, love you, honeys. <laughs> love you. Hey, honeys, knocked up here. Pregnant. He came in her. And so she's married Technically, but Legally she's married. been separated yeah. for seven months. Yeah. And probably, obviously, yeah. had problems before the separation, too. Here's here's my, this is the way I look at it. You know, you're worried about what people think, how, you know, in this situation, especially, you know, here's my thing. In general, people are always going to have something to say. People are always going to think something. Um, if you don't have kids, people are going to judge that. If you have multi, it, 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 no matter what you do, someone's always going to have a problem. Someone's always going to have something snarky to say. There's nothing any human being on earth could do to keep themselves from stupid people's judgment. That is the truth. So I say, in that case, fuck it. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck it. Live the way you want. Do what you want. And that's that. And you don't have to explain. Shit. Shit to anybody. That's what I'm really trying to figure out in my life currently. It's like, you don't owe anybody any explanation for yeah really anything. For anything you do. Yeah. So You know? And, Either way, like, people will stay. I've had to learn this because of being on social media, too. People always have something to say, and I don't even take my time saying, this isn't right. Even if I'm reading something that's completely wrong about me, I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Let them let em talk. Yeah, because that's the thing. They're, all, they're always going to talk. It's just <sighs> up to you to not let that talk and get to you. Yeah, and I guess she's saying, how do I do that? How do I not let... Well, here's the thing. It's just, it's just, it doesn't matter what you do. You could do something that thinks, oh, this will keep people from talking. Oh, if I do this, this will, this will, you know, people won't talk about me. If I do this, if I do this it doesn't matter. People are always going to fucking talk. People are ridiculous. They need to mind their own fucking business and they don't. People are horrible and shitty and they, and they judge people and talk about people. So fuck them. Gonna do what I want. Have your life motto. Every time you think about what other people think about you, fuck them. For real. You, I had to tell myself that. I'll, it, even if I'm coming up with something in my head, I'll go, what the hell? And then I'm like, fuck it. Yeah. Huh, we do that all the time, Jerry. 100%. It's it, just a mindset thing, you know? Because if it's not this person talking, it'll be someone else. It'll be someone else. And that's a whole problem in itself. People needing to calm the fuck down and mind their own fucking business. But they won't. They won't. Right. Right. <laughs> they won't. They won't. Especially older people. Older people love getting into other people's business. Oh, they love it. They mm -hmm. thrive off of it. They thrive off that shit. Um, and, and it doesn't even... That's why the marriage thing scares me so bad. Even if people do separate or whatever, like... Marriages can take so long to get divorced and just going through all that. So just stay in your own fucking lane. Yeah. <clears throat> Agree. Because even if you're technically still married, mm -hmm. who 
gives a oh, shit. Yeah. Just in general, everyone <laughs> could me. everyone could do better and stay in their own lane. And just fuck people, dude. Fuck them. And you're going to have nine kids now? You you have a... Collectively, nine kids. Start a band. Look at the positives in that. A football team, a fucking... A yeah, basketball. Right. Maybe have more kids. You know? You're just getting started. <laughs> you know? Nine. Just fuck people. People are always going to... Yeah. I'm sorry, honeys, that you're you're feeling that, you know, you're feeling the judgment of other people. I had my whole town saying, I can't believe Paige says, oh, my pussy. And, oh, my God. And, you know, just all our lives, we didn't go to church. We always had judgment. Oh, I don't want my kid hanging out with them because they don't go to church. Just, just, do, just do you. Do what yeah. makes you happy. Yeah, and this goes for any anybody or anything. Don't not do something that makes you happy because you fear what your family will think. What your like, it doesn't matter. Nah, bro, you got to live for you. You only get one life. Yolo. Even when I started wearing the thongs to the beach, people in my hometown, oh my gosh, I can't believe you getting messages from them. I can't believe you're doing it. Jesus, the dumbest shit. I can't believe she's doing that. Yeah, yeah, I am doing it. I'm, I'm going to post a picture of me bent over, too. <laughs> Look at it. Looking for seashells. Zoom in. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, no matter what you do, yeah. just stay in your own lane, be happy, and yeah. fuck them. Yeah. And we love you. Love you, honeys. Thank you for that call. Listen, I'm 35, okay? I'm no spring chicken anymore, okay? I, do, I eat a lot of trashy food filming mukbangs, all right? I've found a way to even things out you know start thinking about my health a little more our next partner is a product i literally use every day for that specific reason i started taking ag1 because i was like listen man i'm getting older i gotta start really thinking about just you know being healthier in general and Paige, you know how my guts be right i mean my well let me just say this how my guts used to be her gut used to be twirling now it's just laying there and healthy as ever and it's so easy it's just one scoop of the powder and a cup of water yum tastes like vanilla easy to get down and i've been feeling energetic and great every day so what settles the shrimps when the shrimps be singing with one delicious scoop of ag1 you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients in one scoop, baby. And it's so much cheaper than getting all the different supplements yourself. Athletic Greens has over 7,000 five-star reviews. That's a lot of good reviews. And listen, a lot of professional athletes use this stuff. And I'm not only talking about gut issues, guys. I'm talking about better sleep. That's that's huge. Better sleep. You'll feel better just day to day. And don't forget, Chelsea, mental clarity and alertness. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com viral again. That's athleticgreens.com slash viral to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Oh, yeah. Hey, honeys. Me here. I'm just calling in to say I am, I got a a bidet for my birthday um, because I shit a lot. But what I didn't saw, what I didn't think I'd discover is that I, uh, I, I just can't stop getting off with my bidet. Basically, yeah. I just blast my clit with bidet water. Um, and I do that for probably about 20 minutes every day. And uh, thankfully, I don't have to pay for water at my apartment. 
So that's pretty swag, but um, just wanted uh, your thoughts on that. You ever done it? Highly recommend. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Hey, honey, self-care yeah. here. <laughs> to just sit there? But is that, sh- that's toilet water, right? Hey, they say toilet water. Or is that coming from fresh water? It's fresh. It is. Yeah. How, that, the bidets always freak me out. I feel like that water pressure on my clit would hurt for 20 minutes. She can probably have, can turn it down or something. Or if, she's used to it. Oh, if she's enjoying that and getting off, good for you, honeys. A shit and then a nut. That's that's a great combo right there. Wake up, get a shit in the nut. And she can just be on her phone scrolling at the same time. I've never... Mackie has a bidet. I don't have one here. I use dude wipes. Y'all know that. Dude wipes, please sponsor us. They won't return our emails. Um, they Mag, will. Maggie has a bidet. You love a bidet. I never use yours because I just don't think about it. I don't... I don't think about it. You ever run that water on your pussy? I have just to clean it, not to get off. Yeah. Um, I don't think I could get off from it. You did the hole? Yeah. Hmm. This is going to sound gross, but it's nice when you're on your period because it oh, shoots up in there and cleans it. I need to come over when I. Gets the jelly chunks out. Uh huh. I need that. <laughs> Fuck, dude. They do just need a. a oh, it's clot nice. Uh huh. That's what I use the front for. Where the hell are the clot days? It goes up in your hole. I don't think it's supposed to go up there. It doesn't like shoot up in it. It shoots. But it, it gets. It just, okay. It's just a little spritz just okay. to freshen the hole up. Okay. He sprayed nut on her. That one got me. Sprayed. I was I was imagining a spray bottle with nut in it. We're going back to Letters to Penthouse when he sprayed nut on her. <laughs> Jerry, have you ever sprayed a woman with cum? I mean, I don't cum that much, but. Most certainly, I I pull out. You spray though. You you're a Most sprayer. Like a condom. Spray? Not entirely. I mean, it's a few squirts. Yeah, nothing tr- tremendous. So you're not drowning her in cum with you know spraying it. I'm happy. I can't do that. I mean, uh, how do you? I how do you know. spray out of your dick? Do you put your uh, thumb over the spout like it's a fire, <laughs> like a water, like hose? a hose? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Could you stop <laughs> and just spray her? Mm-hmm. I'm done. Well, I've seen some pornos back in the day. I mean, I'm sure you all have. Oh, yeah. But they what? They just go forever. I mean, is there like a supplement that <laughs> A of lot of people I have, so. Yeah. yeah. I've heard, though, too, guys will jack off all day long leading up to the porn shoots so that they can last. Huh. I've heard some people say that. I'm sure when it comes to porn, I'm sure there's a whole art to it. Everyone terms- probably has a different technique, yeah. too. Hmm. I forgot what this was even about. Oh, yeah, the bidet. Interesting. Bidet. Yeah, I do think, though, it, if I ever get to build a house, I think I want, like, a fancy bidet built in. Yeah, you need one. I think I'm going to do that. Sometimes the warm seat creeps me out. Yeah. If I sit down and it's not warm, then I'm like, whoa. Mm. You got used to it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Hmm. Whatever gets you off. I mean, if that the bidet gets her off, oh, keep squirting away. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Anything. I, anything um totally. you a know, carrot a carrot uh curling iron edge of a couch um i mean if you can make anything help you nut i'm and i am all for that and share chairs we could go on no oh, i said and share share the singer <laughs> no i said and and share what share gets it. you off oh and share it for and us you I, said, and chairs? I thought you were talking about share no matter how hard i try <laughs> You, you keep, keep pushing, pushing me aside and I can't break through. There's no talking to you. That was good. Oh, that, was that, that feels good every time I do it. Mm-hmm. What goes next? And you say that you leave him. I don't know. I, I really need to study that. Sorry about that. All right. Share. We are ready for that. You said and share. And I go share. The singer? <laughs> Ready for the next call, boo. Here we go. Hey, honeys. Question here. So I was just listening to episode 61, Mm. and the part where the guy had said he had heard or read somewhere that you can smell when a man has nutted, I just want to piggyback off of that. 
Um, I actually have a story about one of my best friends. So she is dating this guy. She has been for quite some time now. Their relationship is very complicated um, because there is a significant age difference. She is 28. He is in his mid to late 50s. Um, And he's already told her he won't ever marry her. He won't have kids with her. Um, and they can't live together, um, because he's been there, done that. And the weird part is, um, so he has his own house, she has her own house, um, but he has, I think she's a roommate, um, but he has this female that lives with him, and they sleep in bed together every night. And (laughs) that's obviously a huge red flag to me. Um, but my friend, he has her convinced, um, that she can tell nothing is happening between them because she can check his balls and see if he's nutted. Like, if he hasn't nutted, his balls are fuller, and if he has, they will be deflated. So he has her convinced all she needs to do is check his balls and see if he's been cheating on her, basically, based on how his balls look. Um, I think that's bullshit. I've never heard of this. I've told her that's bullshit. She, he has her convinced this is 100% true. Um, I just wanted to hear your thoughts, get your opinion, see if you've heard of this, see if you think this is true. Um, so, yeah, love you, honey. Oh, yeah. yeah. Damn, he is gaslighting the fuck out of her. I'm not checking nobody's balls. <laughs> he has her convinced that he's not sleeping with the woman he sleeps with every night? Dude, a roommate that he's sleeping with every night? That's his In life. the bed? You won't, you won't marry her? You won't move in with her? You <laughs> want nothing? Because he's done that before. Well, then what's that lady doing there? He's already married. You're already live. You're living with her and sleep like, huh? If, oh my, you sleep with her every night, and she checks his balls to make sure they're not fucking. And that's not a thing. No. Why is she okay with him sleeping in the bed with his roommate? Well, he has her convinced that they're not fucking. Oh, he's a gas lighter. She might need to hide a camera in that room for just one night. Well, that's illegal, but that's a good idea. Oh, that is you legal. You can get those oh, little yeah, plug-in ones, sure. though. Maggie, that, that's still illegal. We're like, that's illegal, Maggie's like, well, you can get those little plug-in ones. <laughs> we're like, that, would still those do ones it. are still illegal. <laughs> I would just stop checking his balls and be like, mm, you're done. You're done. Uh, next. She's 20. She's. I'm sure she wants to get married 20, and have yeah, kids 28. or something. 28 I, it's not too late it's the sleeping in the same bed is, is there not another room in the house it's the check in the balls too to see if he's came or not i mean what if he jacks off to porn he just never does that either he probably knows all about those pills i'm just in disbelief that and bless her heart i don't want to be mean to her but it's like lady come on man you're checking the man's balls to make sure he's not having sex with the woman he's sharing a bed with every night. Why would you want to live your life like that? That's just a little crazy you know, on both ends. Yeah, in my part. yeah. I mean, you need to meet up with the girl who's yeah. sleeping in the bed and say, "You know about me." Well, does he does he have her checking his balls too? <sighs> Probably. He's just got people checking ball- his balls. It's I probably wonder- his go-to. Do you think I'm cheating on you? Check, Check my, balls. my balls. Check my balls. <laughs> I wonder <laughs> when she gets over there, if she comes to visit, if she's like, drop them. Let me check. Like it's the first thing. Like what do you, how do you check? Cough. And, and dudes can come. I mean, d- as soon as they come, it's reloading, man. It's, right. It's reloading. <laughs> he coughed up. You know? Do you think she makes him cough? I don't know. That Dude, I, this, this is a new one for me. Where do they do their sexual intercourse at? Is kn- it like who does the I girl know. just go on the other side of the bed? When- <laughs> is she waiting in the corner? Is she waiting outside to come in or what's going on? That's wild. I don't think the girls know about each other. <sighs> Could be. There's no what 
Okay, here's my thing. Okay, let's say I'm a roommate. I have a male roommate. And let's say we're sleeping in the same bed because I don't have my own bed. And let's say we are legit not having sex. I don't like him in that way. He's just a friend. I'm, I'm, I don't have a bed right now, so we're sharing a bed. Mm-hmm. If I knew he had a girlfriend and the girlfriend was checking his balls... There's no way hey, I, there's no way I'd feel comfortable sleeping another right. night with him. At least get two twins and a divider. Right. Hey, let's get two twins. And then you could come over and meet that person. If you're not allowed to meet the person he's sharing the bed with, that's <gasps> red flag number one. That's not only a red flag. That's a that's a giant red flag. That's a flag the size of of Texas. Y- yeah. Too many negatives to be a positive. For that, this that's one. T- that's what I'm oh, saying. Yeah. Too many, too many odd things you have to do to keep the relationship afloat. Yeah, that alone's a full, going on. Yeah, he said she doesn't want to. Have, he doesn't want to have kids. Sounds like she does. Just yeah, just kind of end it. Move on. Yeah, mm-hmm. let's just if you're listening and you have to check a man's balls. That's a full time job. <sighs> yeah, right there. I can barely check my oil. Right, and, and it you, tells me. <laughs> and you're having to check balls. I'm not checking nobody's balls. <laughs> Bet yeah. me that. So, do, do you, th- you think she just grasps some, or like? You think she's just looking? Do you think she like puts a stick? <sighs> she's got to be feeling it. And what happens if if she don't feel a lot of cum in there? Is that a she, fight? <laughs> she has a stick. Jerry said she puts a stick. She's just poking them. That's odd, my man. I love that we're talking about balls so much. I know. Big balls. <laughs> ball. Ball checkers. This is the ball episode. Oh, oh! What? Never mind. Never mind. Okay, you might almost said something important, but we'll move on. Well, I, it was last episode. I was thinking it was this episode. Oh, skin tripping? balls from KFC. Oh yeah, the skin balls. That was the last episode. This is a ball episode, man. Mm-hmm. Well, um, love you, and tell your friend to listen to episode eighty-one of the Violet <laughs> Podcast. Just send her this link. Okay, thank you. Hey, honeys. Me here. So I just have a fuck Mary Kill. Ooh. So um fuck Mary Kill uh Chad Kroger. Okay. Tracy Lawrence or Alan Jackson. <sighs> Chad. I hope Kroger. you ladies have a great day. Brett, lean back. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Brett's not here today, but Jerry, you're in a seat, so go ahead and lean back for us and touch the wall. Mm. Do you know what that means, Jerry? Yeah, he was oh, telling Brett to lean back <laughs> the other day. <laughs> On the couch. <laughs> okay, fuck Mary Kill. Chad Kroger. Can you show me a picture of Tracy Lawrence? You're quicker yeah. at typing. Yeah. Tracy Lawrence. And who was the other one? Um, George Strait? No, um, no, Alan Jackson. Oh. Alan Jackson. Um, you know who that is? I think I sang his song, right? On I'm my gonna TikTok? Sh- I'm going to show you a picture of Tracy Lawrence, like now. I just did his podcast. Oh yeah, that's Tracy Lawrence. Him. He sings. Um, God, I have so many songs that he sings. He sings. Um, you find out who your friends are. Somebody's gonna drop everything. Run out and get their car. Hit the brakes or something like that. And then he sings He's fancy. And then he sings. Um, I know all the songs, but I'm being put on the spot here. Would you paint me a Birmingham? Brother smokes dope. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> make nope. it look just the way I plan. Yeah, but he's seen, he's got some bangers, dude. And let me show you Alan Jackson. Pop top again. Oh, that's he Alan. Sings ja- that? Alan Jackson. Pop top again. Okay, Did I just sing his song. Ooh, he's not uh-huh. a bad gig. Remember bad. when? Oh yeah. Remember when? Okay. Mm-hmm. I was. Young. I'm gonna pick. I am going to fuck Alan Jackson. Not a bad breed, looking at him. I'm going to marry Chad Kroger because if we're married, I want to be woken up every morning to look at this <laughs> photograph. <laughs> and I want to wake up and I want him to be holding a photograph of his in my dick. Hand, of his dick. Every morning. And I'll kill Tracy Lawrence, and I'm sorry, huge Tracy Lawrence fan. But that's just how it's got to be. And he didn't tell you what you looked like when you were on his podcast. <laughs> yeah. So he's done. I did his podcast. And if you go watch it on YouTube, <laughs> half halfway through, 
my hair somehow got tangled up. It's like my hair's tangled up into a knot right here and nobody told me. Just go fucking look and you'll see why he's dead. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay, I'll I'll take uh fuck, dude. I got to do the same. I think I got to f- marry Chad Kroger because Right, you got to. He's the lead singer in Nickelback, let's be real. And he's still out thriving. Oh, he is killing it. I need to hit up some concerts with mm-hmm. him and then um and mm-hmm. he wrote us on TikTok. Yeah, he did. He's headlining Tailgates and Tall Boys, right? He they're headlining Tailgates and Tall Boys and I will be there hosting in June. So I'm going to get to meet Chad Kroger's. I got to be there. You're coming. Okay, and then yeah, Tracy Same. Lawrence or wait, what the <laughs> fuck? Did you put Tracy you're going to marry? No. Oh. No, that's separate. <clears throat> Alan Jackson was not looking too bad. Alan, I'll fuck him, I guess. Yeah. Can you imagine if Paige fucked Alan Jackson? That'd be funny. That'd be wild. What's he looking at today? How old it, is Alan Jackson? Good. He's he's older. He's probably in his 60s. I can't believe all these people growing up, like Toby Keith and everybody, they're he's, like in their 60s now. He's still a good looking guy. Okay. Yeah, good looking dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, I love the Fuck Mary Kills and I love the Would You Rathers. I think more than anything on this pod. So keep calling in with those. Alan Jackson could still lay pipe like a journeyman plumber. <laughs> I can see it too in his eyes. Oh yeah. yeah. That motherfucker's pounding. He actually kind of looks like you. I can see that. I could be his daughter. Mm hmm. I could. He has those eyes you and Officer Daniels has. Hey, honey's offspring of Alan Jackson here. <laughs> That Alan, wouldn't be bad. Not at all. <laughs> to find that out? Huh. Alan jacked in your mom. Here we Alan, ja- you. Alan, Alan jacked, jacked in your mom that's and didn't tell you. funny. Alan jacked <laughs> in your mom and didn't tell you. Imagine thinking you had the dad who did and then it's actually Alan Jackson. Oh, it'd be awesome. And not just money-wise. I'm just thinking of like your dad's Alan. Your dad is the Chattahoochee dude. And you're still fucking him. Huh? And you would still fuck him? If I found out he was my biological dad, I'd probably set that one out. All right. I'm going to switch you up with Tracy Lawrence. <laughs> All right. All right. Love that. What about y'all? I, I'm curious as to Maggie. Um, gosh. Same. Exact same lineup. Yeah. Beth, same lineup? It was a good lineup. Mm, no, I would switch the Tracy and Allen. I think I would kill Alan Jackson and fuck Tracy Lawrence. Okay, that's a good one too. Yeah. That's but great. Mary, Mary you gotta marry Chad Kroger's. He's getting. You gotta. He's going to the altar. You gotta marry Chad Kroger's. Chad. Wow. All right. Thank you for calling in, honeys. That was a great fuck Mary kill. Thank you. Hey, this is Paige's dad, Alan, and I'm here to tell you about the other daughter's Chelsea's Patreon. Want to see her tits? Because <laughs> I know you do. Well, now you can. For only 16 cents a day, that's right, $5 a month, you can see more of Chelsea and Tammy than you ever thought possible. There's currently over 30 episodes of Tammy Bangs on there, exclusive vlogs that are so raunchy, she couldn't post them anywhere else. I watched them and <clears throat> they gave me a boner. Um, and well, And guess what? Muck. Bangs too, only posted on Patreon, and slits only, exclusive mini viral podcast episodes posted every Friday, woo, giveaways and much much more. She really bust her big ass over <laughs> there on Patreon, so go support the splurge. To subscribe, look up Chelsea Lynn on Patreon, or you can find the link. By going to her Instagram. The link is in the bio. Whoa, yeah. Killed it. You killed it. I did? You killed it. Are you sure? Hi, honey. Loser here. Um, I, I'm just calling to get your opinion on uh, living with your parents as an adult. Um, so I'm the same age as Paige. And uh, my parents had me when they were really young. So... They're not much older than me, and they're honestly so cool. Um, and I went to art school, so, like, totally can't afford to live on my own. I'm not married. I don't date. I just kind of hang out with my parents. And it's not like 
I, you know, I, I buy my own groceries, I pay my own bills, I even, like, pay them rent because I feel so bad. Like, I feel like such a loser when, like, all of my peers are getting married, having kids, or, like, buying a house on their own. So, I just, I would like maybe your opinion and maybe some advice if, um, if you were in my situation, how would you feel, what would you do, uh, love y'all. And I'm um, looking forward to hearing my horrible voice. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I love you. Honeys, I don't feel like you're a loser at all. And here's why. A few different reasons. You're contributing. You're paying your bills. You're paying rent. You're buying your food. If your parents enjoy you being there and you enjoy being there with them and you're contributing, I see nothing fucking wrong with that. I think of it as better than living by yourself and overpaying on a oh, place because yes. rent is so fucking expensive right now. Oh, it, exactly. All the, It's actually Everywhere. expensive all the time, not yeah. just now. Um, Everywhere. Groceries are expensive. If you can help out and contribute. If my parents lived in Nashville, I would probably live with them. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the thing. I feel like... Back in the day, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s, you know, I feel like you were labeled as a loser if you were still at home. People got married young. They you, they were financially able to buy houses at 21 years old. You can't do that anymore. You almost have to have a roommate to survive. You have to have, you know, like people can't buy houses the way they were buying them 30 years ago. You, more people are living with family, parents, roommates i feel like that's very normal you got to be able to be you got to be able to survive and be comfortable and we don't have to live how society has lived i think it's so important to live with your family because you just fucking grow up mm-hmm. and then i feel more connected to my parents now yeah. than when i was going through high school you know like i feel so close to them now and they do become your best friends so it's just why do we have this mentality that you have to fucking graduate yeah. and move away from your parents it's yeah. when I don't feel like it should be that way at all? Now, if you were a piece of shit. And just living off of them. That'd be another story. If, if, if you weren't working or doing anything for your life. And you were living off your parents and they were like, you got to get, you got to get a job. You got to get out of here. Sure. You'd probably be a loser. If you're going, ma, meatloaf. Yeah. Yeah. If you're not contributing anything. Yeah. I'd probably be like you, you're, you know, a little ridiculous there. No, I don't think you have to worry about it. I think if you're putting in your part and you guys both enjoy it, I don't think you're a loser. Not even a little bit. And it could be helpful for your parents, too. Oh, yeah. Who was saying that parents go through just all these stages of, you know, like going through kid, just all these emotions in their life. Mm-hmm. Then their kids grow up and then their kids are gone and then you're lonely again. And then, you know, so yeah. it could. I know that our dad loves us being around. Yeah, I live with my dad right now. Yeah, Jerry. It's the most amazing thing ever. We're best friends. Watch sports tonight. It's great. Every night with mm-hmm. each other. It's great i think that's great and absolutely i think and it's probably helping your parents out financially they're you're getting a little bit of rent money it it, win-win for everybody i feel like and just when your parents are older too you can do stuff for them that they can't do and Mm -hmm. when yeah when you are older you get lonely as hell yeah like i talk to my dad for hours a day on the phone when he's gone because I feel like he just needs it, so yeah. yeah. You're not a loser. Just help out and respect each other, and you're all Gucci. As long as they're not, like, micromanaging you, and, like, you can still maybe bring o- a boyfriend over in her case, like, oh. or whatever. Jerry's thinking know? about getting it in. He's well, thinking about that night. Yeah. Actually, you got to always yeah. be... Um, if oh, your yeah. parents are cool, yeah. If there's mm-hmm. a mutual respect with how you guys are living, and, and you're doing something for yourself and contributing, that's great. I think it's up. great. I think it's great. Yeah. Keep so, it going. Hey, honey, here forever. You are not a loser here. Not at all. I love it when families live together. Yeah. So. It's cute. And yeah, so many families are like so dysfunctional that they could never live with yeah, each other. Right. So the fact so, that she can do that is just absolutely amazing. I agree, mm-hmm. Jerry. 
I agree. It's I know a, a lot situation. of college kids living with their parents and having the time of their life. Just have fun and enjoy the time with them right now. Exactly. Because once you go out on your own again, it's just, I think you'll realize how grateful you are for them. I agree. Yeah. And don't be so hard on yourself, honeys. Oh, yeah. never. All right. Love yourself. Love you. Thank you for calling in. Love you. Hi, guys. This is Joey. I'm a new listener. I first heard you guys on Trash Tuesday, oh. and I started listening. Anyways, I was listening to episode 67, and Paige mentioned her OnlyFans. And I went on, and I took a look, and I noticed that Paige has the most beautiful butthole. And so my question is, Paige, were you born with that butthole, or do you do anything to make it beautiful? Because I am a chocolate woman, and so I would say that I'm the shade of cappuccino, but my butthole is the shade of, like, dark chocolate, which is fine. It's cute. My husband loves it, but your butthole is just so perfect. So I just had to ask. Thank you. Love you both so much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, thank you for looking at my hole. Um, <laughs> That's a great compliment. That was a good compliment. What did I, I tell you? You've told me I have a great, beautiful butthole, and I thank you for that. Maybe the third time we ever hung out with each other, I saw it for the first time. Oh, gosh. And what did I say? I said, whoa, your butthole's great. It was probably the prettiest <laughs> butthole I've ever seen. I, I've told you that always. I was just showing everyone on set. <laughs> so I'm glad other people are seeing that and appreciating it too i don't thank you i don't do anything special to it maybe the one thing that is special that you wouldn't think is i don't put soap on it Mm. and i don't i don't scrub it i leave it be if i'm scrub i think that's how people get the clit lip and that's on being god's favorite well if you're (sighs) if you're too rough with it it's gonna look roughed up well sometimes if you got a butthole like mine you need to get rough with it <laughs> okay, we can't all have perfect, pretty little buttholes. Sometimes it needs a good scrubbing. What I you say, scrub it with? just, just whatever I got: body scrubber, loofah, okay. fingernails. <laughs> oh, Ooh. you will take Itchy? your a glove and scratch the shit out. Well, of that's it. if it is if it's itching. I will do that. Mm-hmm. So I keep I keep latex gloves in the kitchen for when I'm like touching chicken and stuff. I don't like to touch chicken, raw chicken. And sometimes, if my asshole. Is, I mean, itching, itching like crazy. I will go in there, put on a glove, and just go to town scratching Dude, my Dude, why don't you just use your fingers? Yeah. And get the <laughs> butt juices underneath my nails? And the cheese and I go all that for shit. it. Oh. No, I got to put on a glove. If my butt will smell that bad after I'm itching it, I'm hopping in the shower. Yeah, 100%. Do, I've never waxed it. I think that helps. I've never done any of the bleaches, which I think helps. Once you start messing with shit, that's when it goes bad. Just leave mm. it alone. It can't see you, and you can't see it. Hmm. Well, I am as white as could be. You know, I got the pale skin, but I definitely have a cappuccino butthole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've never seen my butthole, I'm, and I'm very curious as to know what it looks I'll like. I'll take a picture oh, of it for you. Yeah, good thing we Can have we these do like phones. Little, Beth, would you be interested in, like, waxing my turd cutter? Or? She'll do it. I don't, I don't know if she... <laughs> Beth, Beth's good at waxing, and she and she will wax our buttholes for us. Because you have the wax kit, you're, you're the handy. only one with the wax kit. That's why we asked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do we have time today or no? We may have to do it another time. I just want to vlog it for my Patreon. Make time. Okay. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Yeah, you could as soon as we're done, Beth, get that wax heating up. Jerry Maybe, could slap it on do, his like a dude wipe. And yeah, you'll need to go clean it real good. Shower, bro. Full, full, shower. full shower and clean it. Well, I, I showered this morning, but well, it's already too far away. It doesn't matter because the oils and the wetness, it, it the wax won't work. It has to be completely clean and dry. Well, I can totally do that. Yeah, that's no problem okay. at all. Put a paper towel. Put it some that's bounty exciting. on it. It will absorb all the juices. <laughs> oh, God. Asshole juice is probably the worst juice known to mankind. God bless. Smelling it. And we all have it. Everyone has it. We all have ass juice. Mm-hmm. If you Ugh. just lick through it, though, I mean. Jerry! Like, don't say lick through ash juice. Then where are you getting? Again. What are you licking to? For, for pleasure. The pussy. Oh. L- <laughs> lick into that next smell. Ooh. Unlock all the layers Ooh, of smells. Damn, dude. 
It's like a lot, like a jawbreaker Jesus trying to get Christ. to that center. Right. Oh my God. Well, thank you for calling in. What a nice compliment to leave my friend. Yeah. And rock that chocolate starfish, that yeah. dark chocolate. Yeah. Good for I, her. Her I husband agree. likes it. Yeah. That's all that matters. Right. Yeah. Just don't be too hard on it. <sighs> Love you. This Wait, was the, that the last? Oh. This is the last call. La- last question and call right here. Here we are. Mm-hmm. Hey, honeys. Brie here. Brie. I'm Jeez. just sitting here thinking, and I was thinking it'd be kind of cool if you guys did a new segment where us rock fuckers came up with our own stories, like Letters to Penthouse. And we wrote into y'all, and you would pick, like, your favorite ones. And whichever ones you pick, you'd read on the pod. And, uh, yeah, just kind of sitting here thinking about y'all. You are absolutely my favorite uh, and pretty much only podcast that I listen to. And, uh, yeah, so let me know what you think about that. Have a wonderful day, ladies. I love everything you do. Keep doing you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll let you know. Uh, I love this idea. I love this idea because like I was saying at the beginning of the episode, sometimes the letters to Penthouse stories are too long for me to read. So I need something a little shorter. Crazy she called in. I know. I would love for you guys to send us an email. If we don't see it on our DMs, send us an email. Um, Write it out like it would be to letters. Like write it like a story. Keep it short. I would say probably a couple minutes max. Yeah. Because yeah, don't be writing the twelve pages. Yeah. And you guys can always email us, um, Chelsea and Page at gmail dot com. Mm-hmm. Chelsea and Page at gmail dot com. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Send us your letters to Penthouse Story if you're a good if you're a good writer and you can write up something really juicy for me to really really talk about. Um. And if you just don't want to call in or we haven't heard your call or you really want us to hear something, you guys can always email us. Our email has always been open for the emails, open and listed and posted. Like, so you can also uh, message this phone number. Oh, I didn't see. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. And another thing, too, I forgot to bring it up is we have uh, for the merch drops. Instead, if you don't want to be on the email list, we have a phone number that can remind you. Ooh, so if you yes. go to our viral podcast, you can sign up for the text to remind you that the shirts are dropping. Is it viralpodcast.co or theviralpodcast.co? The viral podcast. Get on there, co. guys. Get fucking start clicking. Just use your thumbs. Use your thumbs and your fingers. And also, you can give us a call with your fingers, too. Jerry, anything you have to say? Yeah, are, are letters to Penthouse based on a true story? Yes. So what happened is okay. this is Hustler, or not Hustler, Penthouse. Penthouse Magazine put out these books where people write in with their crazy sexcapades. Wow. And, and yeah. That, so Tom that, is still out there. Oh, he's out there just surprising his wife. I wonder how many Big other surprise. golfers golfing. he's done. Oh, there's no telling, dude. I mean, this book is wild. All the golf buddies. Oh. Yeah, oh, everyone wow. just writes in with their letters to penthouse stories, and then they yeah. form a book. Yeah, Isn't that so that's gonna make the jacking off a lot better, knowing that it, it it's truly really happened. Exactly. I like exactly. that. These are wild stories to really happen. I know. If you guys have any other wild stories, please call us at four four two seven 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 three 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 one. Hold on. Jerry, thank you for being here. I love you. Thank that. you guys so Can't much. wait love to have you another episode. Sorry, hit it. Oh, I was going to say okay. thank you, Jerry, for being here. Thank and you for having me. For being my brother and coming out of the same pussy as me. Thanks, Mom. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I want to do that again. Go th- out that pussy. <laughs> really? All right. That'd you're, be cool. And always you remember, remember. You're doing great. You're looking good. And, and fuck, fuck what everybody, everybody else thinks. Get ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Me, Jerry. Yeah, two time. Oh, oh yeah, I'm getting fucked. Oh, I'm getting fucked. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh.